Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another food review video. In this video, I'll be reviewing Founding Farmers. So this is a place I've been wanting to try for a good, a good while. And this review is coming many months later. And since I have turned vegan, I've got to say that on every video now, just, well, at least all the videos where I'm digging into the past. But I got treated to Founding Farmers on my birthday back in May. My girlfriend took me out, you know, treated me like, She's like, hey, it's my birthday. I mean, yeah, it's my birthday. She's going to, you know, make my birthday special. And she went out of way way um, to get this reservation, you know, had to fight and elbow to get that spot. And she got it. And she heard about it, too. Like, I didn't even have to mention it. So she knew, heard about it. So obviously found a farmer. A lot of people were talking about it. I mainly heard about it from the brunch queen herself, Fendi Nat or Fendi Maru or Fendi Mayo or Patty Mayonnaise, however you want to, whatever she wants to go by. But, yeah, she sliced the place up. But, hey, here's the review of... Founding Farmers, and I'm just gonna say flat out right here, very disappointed with Founding Farmers. For all the you know, been talk about it, very disappointed. So, what I got was I got like two different things. I got the um, chicken and waffles was the second thing I got. The first thing I got, I got with like bacon, eggs, and like um, grits, bacon, eggs. Yep, grits. Oh, and then um, French toast on the side with that. So bacon, egg, grits, and a French toast on the side. And another thing I got. Was I got um the um, chicken and waffles, but and with all things I was disappointed. Also with their mimosa, I don't think they had endless endless mimosas, so I just had to buy one at a time. Big big disappointment. Overpriced. Not a great alcohol content. Nothing spectacular or stellar about it. So very disappointed with their mimosa off the bat, off rip. Their um. The presentation alone, just for the, um, the French toast was disappointing. Like, what is this? They gave me this little um, Twinkie looking thing and some little whipped cream and then some berries on the side. That thing was very disappointing. Then it even tasted more disappointing. Like, I hope, like, oh, it looks different. But maybe it tastes immaculate, but it tasted very mid, is what it tasted like. Devoid of flavor. I mean, the fruits were pretty good, but hey, that's different. The whipped cream was all right basic so like i said basic whipped cream stiff old bland french toast twinkie thing and then the bacon was stiff and stiff and chewy and salty the eggs were less than basic like you would be better off just probably spending five minutes and making some eggs at home nothing spectacular about the eggs eggs were disappointing so underwhelming eggs underwhelming bacon and then the chicken waffles. I mean, the chicken waffle was pretty solid, but it's not nothing I would rave about. It was good, but definitely nothing you can make better at home or get better at like go to Popeyes, KFC, like literally anywhere or any restaurant and get better. Egg, I mean, better chicken. Well, not any restaurant, but any decent restaurant. Well, you can say KFC is like low quality and all that stuff, but either way, price for price and convenience for convenience, all the things blowed out the water. I'm not saying somebody gave me KFC at a restaurant, I would sue. If I went to like Founder Farm and they literally gave me KFC, I would sue. And rightfully so. But like I said, price for price, convenience for convenience, those places are killing it. And it should not be that case. It should be like, oh, this place is so much better. Like so much this, so much that is not the case. It's not blowing them out the water at all. But uh, yeah, so the chicken was not special. The waffle was not special. Like ultimately, nothing about them was nothing to write home about. I can't say it was nothing like exactly nasty like i said the french toast was bland but was it nasty no the bacon kind of salty was it super nasty no it was tolerable like i gave it like a six out of ten i gave that french toast about like a two out of ten i give the waffles probably like six and the chicken about a 7.2 or something so all, all around all around this less than mid is what i got from that founder farmer experience so for all the talking the raving about it was highly disappointed with it and they got to step that game up. Or maybe it's some stuff on the menu that's like, it's so good. Or maybe it's their um, other menus. Or maybe you got to really go in on the brunch and get, you know, get a little bit tipsy and stuff. Then the food start tasting a little bit better, start going down your throat a little bit easier. But from what I got, definitely disappointed. But definitely no um, knock at the girlfriend for, whatever, you know, taking me there. Like she treated, she um, put all the dog in there. But as far as the restaurant itself, it did not, you know, it did not come through. It just fell flat. 
in my overall review for Founding Farmers, I would say is a six out of ten. That's my review for Founding Farmers, six out of ten. And again, I'm vegan now, so it's not like I would go back. But they probably got some vegan options. But I could care less about going to Founding Farmers. I could find some other restaurants and get some stuff from. And besides, you go to a restaurant that's not entirely vegan, you'll be getting stuff mixed anyway. But hey, I'm not saying I'm completely cut off restaurants that aren't completely vegan. I'm definitely not doing that. But I have no need to go to Founding Farmers is all I'm saying. I, I tried it, was extremely underwhelmed, and have no desire to go back vegan or not. If I have an epiphany, turn back to a meat eater, turn back into a whatever the case may be. I'm or not not I'm or whatever the case may be. <laughs> what if I turn back into a meat eater? I still would have no urge to go back to this place. Maybe it's some group setting, but literally have no urge myself to go back to that place ever again. And that's the review. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for more videos. Peace.